Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I really quickly wanted to show you a DIY Montessori uh, material that I recently made. I obviously am not a Montessori expert, but I do love a lot of Montessori materials. However, they tend to be a little bit pricey. So I saw something online that I really, uh, a material for Montessori that I really liked in terms of helping to teach math. And I didn't feel like purchasing purchasing it because it wasn't uh, very inexpensive. So I decided to make my own and I want to show you guys what it is. And it's a Montessori spindle box. And I basically just made it out of cardboard box. It's from a cardboard box that I got from a package from Amazon. And the purpose of a, of a spindle box is to be, for the child, obviously to learn math, but number one is to be able to see the sequence of the numbers from zero to nine, as you can see, you can see it here. And, and secondly, to associate the corresponding quantity with the number. And thirdly, it's also good to, for introducing the concept of zero, which a lot of times when your kid goes to like preschool, for example, it seems a lot like a lot of times they forget to introduce the concept of zero. They usually just introduce from one to, you know, whatever number they're introducing. But I've noticed that zero isn't really something they even talk about. And I did add it here because Montessori does do that. And I really like that. So I added, added it there. So you're technically supposed to introduce, at least according to Montessori, the spindle box at about four years old. My daughter is three, or she's about to be three in November, but I have already kind of introduced her to this because, I don't know, she really wanted to play with it. So I usually just sit with her, and let me just show you guys what's in here. I also made <clears throat> just these little cardboard numbers with a marker. I use popsicle sticks for the counting and then I had these from a long time ago when I went to Target a long time ago and they were just basically like felt um, numbers that's all there is so the first thing she does is she will look at the number and then associate it with which area it goes into so this one goes into zero and then after she's done doing that she will use the popsicle sticks and we will count together and she'll basically just go you know like one and then she'll do one and two, and then she'll keep going, one, two, and three. She's obviously still learning, she doesn't have it down all the way, but she does, she is very good from zero to five is what she is um, at, at right now. So what happens with the spindle box, what's great about the spindle box, I should say, is that a natural control of error happens. Because if your child is counting, and you know, if he's, he or she is putting all these spindles in there, Eventually, they're going to run out. So when they get to the, the last number, if they have, or even they get to seven, for example, and they have no more of these spindles because they put them all in one area, there is a natural control of error there. They will eventually realize that they made an error at some point if they run out of the spindles too early. So that's a really good way, I think, of learning. I do love a lot of Montessori materials. I'm not a Montessori expert, but I have read a lot about Montessori. We don't do 100% Montessori in our home. I do love a lot of more like play learning. Uh, however, I do like a lot of the materials that Montessori offers for learning. So I try to incorporate those into my, you know, my home household. It's a good little activity to do with your kid and this basically costs nothing. This is packaging that I already have from a package that I got from Amazon. And I just cut it up and I use tape all over as you can see. And then I taped the numbers on the back side and I got these popsicle six I believe at the Dollar Tree or something like that and so it basically cost me a dollar to make this <laughs> so it was very cheap other than the tape that I used so this is the easy easy DIY uh, spindle box for Montessori that you can do at home if you don't feel like spending the money because one like this is going to be pricey especially because most of the time they are 100% wood with wood uh, wood sticks basically and they are not cheap so I don't know I thought it's a good idea to do this I looked online and there are other people that came up with this so I'm not the only one that's done this <laughs> I wish I could say that I was the creator of this but I'm not <laughs> but uh, so that's about it guys I just really quickly wanted to show you how easy it is to start introducing your chi your children uh, math and the concept of counting and quantity instead of just learning 
to recognize the number, which is also important, but uh, you also want them to know about quantities. So we work on this a few times a week. She really, really loves it. It's one of her favorite things to do. And it's fun. And you can even, if you really wanted to, color the popsicle sticks. And that would be kind of fun. So, and I think she does have a couple in here that are, are colored. But, so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.